Yo ninjas, today I'm gonna try to learn a move called back handspring or flick flack. I tried to learn this move in the past when I was a kid but I couldn't do it because I was never so flexible with my back. I couldn't do the bridge, I still cannot do a proper bridge so my back flexibility is very very poor but I think I could still manage to learn it if I use the correct technique even if my back is not so flexible. So here there's a trampoline, I'm gonna try it on the trampoline first but I think maybe I can already do it because I tried a few days ago. I think I could almost do it, maybe not perfectly, but I think it was still good. But the goal is to learn it on the grass. So I'm gonna practice it on the trampoline first, I'm gonna try to master it on the trampoline and then I'm gonna try it on the grass. So yesterday was raining very bad and right now the trampoline is still wet a little bit. I think I should clean it before to try. Still a little bit dirty and wet, but never mind. I will try it a little bit sideways first, and then I'm gonna try to make it more straight. I will do it very gradually. So I also warm up in the meanwhile. I'm gonna start with kind of like a macaco, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna try to transform this macaco to a flick flop or back handspring. Let's start very slowly from here. Okay. Maybe from here, I'm gonna try to do it sideways from here. I'm gonna try also on the other side. Now I went towards my left shoulder. I'm gonna try also towards my right shoulder to see how it goes. It feels more unnatural on this side. Let's start from a macaco. Let's try again over the left shoulder. One more. I'm feeling better and better. Now I'm gonna try to make it more straight. To make sure I make it straight, I'm gonna start from this side or maybe from here. So you can see and I can see when I watch the clips if I'm straight. I'm not gonna go fully straight now, but I'm gonna try to do it gradually. The last one was straight. I felt straight, I don't know if it actually was straight. <laughs> Let me see the clip. I think it was not bad. I'm gonna try a few more times like this. Then I'm gonna try it starting on this side to see how much I bend my back. If it looks like a bridge in the air or if my back is totally straight. Whew, I feel good. Let's try sideways. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. I think it's time to start practicing on the grass. Whoa. So the grass is very wet. I'm gonna remove the socks. Otherwise my socks are gonna be very wet. Whoa. Better. So again, as before, I'm gonna use the same strategy. I'm gonna start like a macaco sideways. Then I'm gonna try to make it a little bit more straight. Then I'm gonna try also on the other side. And then I'm gonna start trying it more in the middle. I feel like there is so much difference between the trampoline and the grass. It's way harder and I don't have the bounce. So I'm really curious to see how it goes. Let's try. I can really notice the difference, especially on the arm, the arm's impact. On the trampoline, I felt like I was almost not touching with my hands on the floor because it was very bouncy and very soft. Instead here, when I land on my hands, I really feel the pressure and on my arms. It's way heavier. Let's try more. It's way heavier and a little bit more scary. It was still not straight, but I want to see how it looks like. What? It doesn't look too bad, but also not so good. I still have to try to make it more straight, but it's very, very scary. I'm gonna try on the other side, over my right shoulder a little bit, starting from a macaco, and then let's try to make it straight. <laughs> over the right shoulder, it's even scarier. Over the right shoulder is still too scary. I'm gonna try just to make it over my left shoulder and try to go more straight gradually. 
Okay, I wanna start making it more straight, so I'm gonna try to do it in this side. The first ones are gonna be more sideways, but then I'm gonna try to correct it. The last ones were not too bad. I think it's all mental. I'm just afraid. I could do it easily, I think, but I'm just afraid to fully commit and go backwards. I'm gonna still practice a little bit diagonally. When I feel more comfortable, I'm gonna try to commit and go straighter. I think it's getting better. I don't wanna do it if I'm afraid, but I wanna gradually build the confidence to do it. So let's try even a few more, not totally straight. I know this video are learned with their own skills. Fallo di nuovo! Fallo di nuovo! I feel like I'm very close, but it's so scary. Ooh. I felt straighter, I felt almost straight, but I'm not sure. Let's review the footage. Ooh, I think the last one was good. It was not perfectly straight, but I think there are still considerable like backhand springs. So I think it was successful. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the result because at first I was not able to throw myself in this way. I can do the backflip, but going lower and stay with the head closer to the floor, it's way more scary for me. I feel like if I'm not careful, I can just crash my head on the floor, my face on the floor or my neck, I don't know. With the backflip instead, I don't feel that it's too scary because I jump higher and I'm way more far from the floor and I can feel my body up in the air. In this one, I feel my body so low and so close to the floor that it's scary. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. I think it was successful. I'm gonna try a few more times and peace. Yo ninjas, see you next time.